there's a lot of magic that happens, you know. You meet people from different cultures, you know, that really influence you. And uh, they make you realize, you know, that this little world that you were accustomed to, now it becomes like a universe, you know, that it's ever expanding, you know. Uh, there's always so many stories, so many lessons learned. There's so many people that are just like us, you know. It's not enough for them to be in one place. They long for expansion, you know, to learn, you know, new cultures. Uh, we're in uh, Langfang. This is where one of the biggest uh, international conventions takes place. We started in Beijing. You know, we did some work there and uh, you know had some fun times with the boys. Checked out the progress on our shop, and after that, we came over here to uh, prepare for the convention. Uh, it's a three-day long show. Then after that, we go back to Beijing, and then after that, we'll be going home. Yeah, you know, in terms of the favorite thing that I enjoy, uh, it's never a uh, uh, expected you know the memories that are created are by far the best thing that i really really enjoy and i love and it will always stay with me yeah, yeah. Woo don't worry if i crash I yeah it'll make the video better Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Right in here. <laughs> yeah, two conventions have gone a long way. I remember back in 1999, they wouldn't even invite us to conventions because we were not known. Over the past 17, 18, 19 years, things have changed dramatically. Now we're here at this convention that has been held for the last 14 years, and it's our first year attending this convention. You know, it's a completely different world. I mean, there's gotta be 5% of foreigners here. Surprisingly, you come here, you end up finding your clone. So it's pretty interesting how much influence the Western world has on this country. I think there's a lot of people that are very, very interested in what we do, and they find the means to be able to study uh, me in particular, one of my boys here, you know, that I'm opening in the shop with, he actually went to the States to learn our ways, you know, to have validity, which I think is very important. But I think just to um, have someone from another part of the world be interested in what we do, it's really, really, really flattering, you know. So it tells you that whatever it is that we're doing, it's making an impact. If we keep coming and being part of this, you know, we're also gonna gain a lot of influence from them. And uh, I think by collaborating with them, you know, a lot more can come out of that. So quick, so fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have to be. Thank you so much. One hitter, quitter. <laughs> Doing everything that the process requires from the logistics perspective, pretty difficult, you know. Um, getting here, you know, getting your whole team here. We've been back and forth, you know, using multiple cars, carrying equipment boxes, you know, getting everything ready for the show. Every space is always different. So you have to make the best and be creative, you know, and that's not even considering the language barrier, you know, which I really wish that people really get close to someone who, uh, has gone through these experiences just to get a glimpse and eventually to experience it themselves. We're out here with some of the best artists from back home, from uh, Mr. Cartoon, you know, to uh, Frank Viscobi, Steve Soto, David Vega. And it's challenging for all of us, but I gotta say it's all worth it at the end. That's where all the memories are also created. It's definitely a learning experience, you know, that I think we all need in life. You know, I would, I would say if I didn't have uh, all the people that I have, it would be something impossible to accomplish. Oh. Hey, Sora, tell him that I'll pay him, I'll pay him 10,000 if he does that while I'm tickling him. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
been giving a lot of opportunities to travel and in the process I've met a lot of people and uh, it made me adapt and get rid of not being able to speak, you know, and actually socialize with people, which is very important. You know, being in a comfort zone, going to a convention that you only drive 20 minutes to, uh, it's very different to uh, getting on a plane for 15 hours, you know, and carrying all this stuff and coming to other places. But uh, it's almost like so addictive. You go to one place and then you just can't wait. You think you find yourself at the top, you know, but you realize it's just a little bump that you're standing on. Even if you travel so much, you know, the world is so big, you know, that there's always so many more hills and mountains, you know, to climb. I love learning and like they say, you know, knowledge is for those who seek it. So that keeps me traveling, you know, and uh, when you think about it, you know, the West Coast is just one state influencing basically the whole world. So um, if these people can get so much influence from us, that only tells you how much more inspiration we can find by traveling. And even though, you know, of my circumstances, this is so powerful, you know, and it's so inspiring that if it makes me motivated and uh, uh, if it gives me the strength, the courage, you know, I think uh, uh, everybody else out there can uh, also um, find a way to make it apply to themselves.